Oh, man, I hate Mondays. No, nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 wait. What day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Oh, fuck yeah. It's time for Bruise Day Tuesday. Here's Drez and Big Nate. There it is. Bruise Day Tuesday, indeed. I am looking forward to not only drinking something that I haven't had, that's usually most Tuesdays, but more so talking about what is going to be a lot of fun and is coming up this weekend. But first, let's talk about the booze. Now, this is not usually what we're popping. Usually we're popping these for a reason. And of course, today is no different. I just unleashed the truly unruly tropical twist. Now, you might have heard of Trulies. They are quite popular seltzer beverages. But usually they are 5%. These truly unrulies are 8%. So if you're going to go with a seltzer, this is more of a, a seltzer of my caliber, if you will. Yeah. Um, so, I, I mean, I'm a White Claw loyalist. I, I have grown to appreciate seltzers, and it's usually White Claw for me. I've not actually had a Truly. Why White Claw? Their Blackberry is really good, and they're the only ones I can find a uh, Blackberry flavor in. So, I mean, it, it's also the one that I, I found most widely available. Um, however, they have a White Claw Surge, which is an 8% ABV. And if mm. that's any indicator as to uh, what this is going to be like, we're in for an interesting afternoon. Mm. Okay, so I don't, I can't remember if I mentioned it. This is the tropical twist, is the flavor that I have right here. And like all of these, all the seltzers and the stuff like that, they uh, they do have their nutrition facts. So we know what we're in for. This is a twelve ounce can, I do believe. It's those slender ones. Yes, twelve fluid ounces. 180 calories, you got 3% of your sodium intake with 65 milligrams, 7 grams of carbs, you got 4 grams of sugar, no protein. So, not too bad. Oh, gluten-free. It also contains 8% juice, which is impressive. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I've got the uh, sequel to an REM song here. This is Citrus Crush. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and uh, same stuff, 8% ABV. A big fan of citrus, so it's ought to be good. So these truly unrulies were purchased by the beer master, which is me, for the upcoming hash that we have this Saturday. So uh, I know we've done, I think we've talked about it. I don't know we if we, uh, we had Walt on, or excuse me, Eiffel Tower on back when the house was first starting. Well, now... This will be the sixth hash, I believe. So half a year in. And uh, we because we do them once a month, usually it's the first Saturday of the month. So case in point, this coming Saturday, April 6th, I do believe, yep. is the date that we're going to be doing it. And this is going to be the first one that we're doing here in Radford. The radio stations are actually located in Radford. So if you want to come on out, we'll have the details on the website. You also can find it on the Facebook page. It's the Hokie Hash House Harriers, Hokie Spelt. H O K E Y. There you go. That's that's uh for apparently copyright reasons we're doing it like that. But so I am the beer master, master or meister, which I I like meister. It sounds fancier. Beer meister, yes, the brew ma meister, if you will. So I'm in charge of getting all the booze, and so I try to have a eclectic variety. I obviously, you know, I'm a big craft beer guy, but of course we have some just regular PBR, more domestic stuff. And I do realize not everybody drinks beer. I was one of those people before, you know, 50, I guess it's been a while now, 15 years ago, something, give or take. So I understand that people like maybe some seltzers, some ciders, that sort of stuff. So I did find this pack of truly unrulies at 8%. And I'm like, this might be the kind of seltzer that people at the, uh, at the hash could appreciate. I think so. Um, that being said, the 8% is a little little intriguing if you're trying to actively run it well i think most of the alcohol gets drank in the final circle if you will gotcha. so for those that don't know the hash is essentially a what, what's the joke you know it's a drinking club with a running problem kind of thing or whatever so basically what it is is a hair 
or hairs, if there's, you know, multiple or whatever, will lay a course. And first you meet up, you know, you have a drink or whatever, you have your opening circle, you meet everybody. If it's your first time or say, you know, get to know everybody. And then the hare sets off and lays a trail. Now, Radford, great place to lay some trails. And if you don't know, then you should definitely come out because there is some awesome, awesome trail laying here in Radford. So yours truly, as well as willy nilly is, is BB's hash name. Truly. Truly it is. And so you can, uh, you can come on out again. We're going to, this is actually good. Cause we actually laid the trail just a couple weekends ago and it was our first time herring. So this is, but this is the one that we've really kind of been thinking about for a little while because it's in our own backyard. So we want to make it really awesome. So we're really excited for it. And I can't wait for you to come out to the first hash. I'm and assuming Radford. you're going to be there, right, Nate? I mean, it, it's it's right in my hometown. <laughs> well, I will say this: the the on after, as we call it, which is when you after after you do all all the whole thing, you usually go somewhere for some more camaraderie and some food and stuff. Uh, we're doing long way, so we're going to go nice. keep the beer flowing. Uh, I can definitely the get there. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a hop, skip, and a jump. So so that'll be a lot of fun. So obviously, it's going to be. Um, this Saturday, I think what twelve thirty, you yes. meet up hair away at one, I believe, and we're. It's going to be one of those ones. So don't get turned off by the running aspect of it. This course in particular, we're doing a eagle turkey course. So there's going to be, I think, multiple different areas where it'll split off. And if you're more of an eagle and you want to soar and go the longer, more challenging route, have at it. Or if you want to go the turkey route and just kind of trot along, you know, if you're a walker or, you know, maybe you're slightly injured or whatever the case may be, there's going to be a more easier path to take, if you will. I Yeah. I'm laying the eagle stuff. <laughs> I, thinking about it and all the places and just random wandering in my years of, of living in Radford, there really is a lot of great spots. Like in my brain, I'm already envisioning what I think the trail is going to look like. Well, you can't, you can do it, but so here's the thing, man. Like we, we, when we were first starting to plan this, we had uh, some spots we wanted to hit and some ideas. And then we started like listing it off. I'm like, this is going to be way too long of a hash. So a hash is usually the rule of thumb is kind of, you want it to be around three miles, give or take. And we were thinking about if we were doing what all we were talking about doing, it's going to be like six, seven miles. So I think what we're going to do is we'll have another Radford hash eventually to yeah. work in those other things that we've talked about. So this one's going to be um, a bit, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to be too challenging. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I, I really would uh, enjoy if people wanted to come out, man, it's going to be a good time. And if you've never been to a hash before, like last weekend, we had a newcomer and, um, I guarantee he's going to be there this weekend because it's just, it's such a damn good time, especially if you like to drink alcohol. That's, that's the thing. <laughs> I have to talk to the wife, see if she, we can get a sitter and if she wants to do it. If you could swing it this weekend, if not, I do believe that our May hash, we were taught, there was talks about it months ago. So I, I, I don't think it's really set in stone, but I believe we were talking about doing like a family friendly hash, which will be more kid, you know, for, because a lot of people have kids and stuff and it's hard to, you know, babysitter. So I think this is going to, that's maybe one, although you got really little ones. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, they're not even, they're, I, I'm thinking, when I'm thinking of the family friendly one, I'm thinking, you know, seven, eight, you can kind of run around and do stuff, but you got little, little ones. Yeah. The two olders could, could and would do it. They do a lot of like trail walking with us. But the problem is, is Lachlan, the youngest, would need a stroller of some sort and we don't have a great, jogging stroller and a great way to carry him yeah that might make things a little little tricky i don't know so but so, we've done the cascades with the two older ones now w one of the other fun things about the hash is it's uh there's a lot of what's the word i want to say is debauchery the right word i don't know but there it's not pc all right so if if you're a one of those PC people, you can feel free tight. to stay home. You do not need to come to the hash. Case in point, this here is uh, our a songbook that Eiffel Tower was kind enough to bestow upon. Because not everybody, you know, if you're new to the hash like I am, 
you might not know a lot of songs. There's a lot of songs that get sung. Every now and then there's beer stops along the trail. You stop, you have a beer. There's also song checks where everybody meets up and then you someone leads in a song together. All right. Now I want you to here's the here's a song book. Now this is obviously not every song. This is not um this is not uh you know there the sky's the <laughs> limit, all right? So but here's the thing a lot of those you probably we can't sing yeah, on, oh. the, on the air. So maybe you can look through that and see <laughs> if there's anything that's that really uh jumps out. A lot of them do involve alcohol, you know, drinking beer. One of my favorite songs, which is an easy one because as soon as it gets started, it's 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 quite easy to jump in and sing along because there's only one word to the song. And it's basically what's that uh what's the name of it? I can never remember it. It's that it's like the New Year's Eve song. Old Lang Sin. Yeah. Is is that is That's, how does it start? Is there a, do you, there's actual lyrics there to that, are right? words, but I don't not, I'm neither French nor Catholic, so uh, I don't know it. I don't know. But basically it's that entire song, but you just use the word beer to that tune. Nice. So you just basically, you know, you're like beer, 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 beer. Feel free to sing along. Beer, 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 beer. Some of this is like guar level. Yeah, it's a lot of it is very right. So that's again not PC at all. Great. Some of them you're just like you shake your head when you walk away. You're like, man, this is pretty ridiculous. But so here's what we can do. We can untap these unruly trulies. I want you to keep looking at the songbook to find a, your favorite one that we can sing on the air. That's my favorite one we can't say. Okay, fair enough. But see if you can find one that would be uh, you know, not getting us in trouble with the FCC and we can maybe uh give people a little idea of what hash songs and and sort of uh the level of unpolitically correct we're talking about here this is mm. this is glorious mm. so is an untruly ruling untruly tr unruly truly, uh, truly unruly truly unruly it's obviously seltzers aren't really my thing but if i'm going to have to drink one I want it to have a nice ABV, and this one does. I do feel like there's going to be better flavors than this tropical twist. I don't know. You you got what citrus? Citrus crush. Citrus crush. I feel like that one might be a little tastier. I don't know. It's not bad. Not great. Uh, I mean, because of the ABV, I might bump it up a hair. I'll give it a three seven five. Again, I feel like there's better flavors. On a hot day after a run, this would be absolutely phenomenal. Um. Still, it's not going to sway me away from the White Claw, uh, but I'll, I'll give it I'll give it a four. It's pretty yeah. solid. I like citrus. All right. I kind of had a feeling that one might be a little tastier. So maybe I'll try that. We'll play a song. We'll come back, and then perhaps we will even sing a hash song. It is Bruce Day Tuesday right here on 105.3 The Bear. <laughs> 